is up, everybody? This is your boy Carlos, brought to you by Carlos Power Media. And today, we are going to air fry some fried chicken. Okay, guys, this is a new product that I bought, and the name of this air fryer is Maxim. And basically, this is the extra large version where you can cook like maybe four Cornish hens at the same time. You can do up to 10 to 12 pieces of chicken at one time. So if you're cooking for a large family, this is your product right here. So what we're gonna do is, I have some chicken wings here that I've already seasoned. And basically, when you actually air fry your chicken, you can eat gill free without all of those calories and fat and things like that. Now, one of the things I personally been doing, I love to eat right, uh, eat a lot of fruits and vegetables and things like that. And within the last month and a half, I have lost already about 10, almost 15 pounds. But I don't wanna lose too much, but when you eat right, cut out all of that processed food and things that you get from fast food and different things like that, you can lose weight. Your body would work in overdrive to lose weight if you put the right things in it. But I love my fried chicken, guys, so this is the best alternative to that. So I have my chicken wings here, and I always fold the wings. Now, I like my special seasoning that I like to put on it. So I have my Pam non-stick and spray that I do like to spray in the basket before I put the chicken in there. Also, I have a bag, and you know this is a little bit country, but anyway, I like to have my bag with some all-purpose flour in it. I will give my chicken wings a light dusting of flour. I don't put too much a flour on it, but I like to do a light dusting of that. Also, just for the flavor, I like to use 100% extra virgin olive oil, and I have that right here, so I did put some of that over in my chicken wings. Also, I have my Tony uh, Chatteris uh, Creole seasoning. I like to put that in there a little bit to give it that little pizzazz Creole uh, flavor. Also, just to cut down on sodium, I like to use sea salt, so I did put some of that in there as well. And I have my chicken and poultry Lowry's rub. I love to use this. I even like to put it on salads too. And your traditional black pepper. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go ahead and get this thing started. Okay, so within this, there is a button, an on button on here, and it starts out at 360 degrees, but it has a button on here where you can select poultry. It'll automatically know what the temperature is to do it on. I press start, and also, I like my chicken to be a little bit extra crispy. It's gonna automatically default to 25 minutes, but I'm gonna do it for 30 because I like that extra crispy chicken. So I'm gonna click my plus sign and increase that, okay? And then I'm gonna click start. Okay, so I have that going. So I like to let it heat up a little bit before I put my chicken in. And, and what I'm gonna do is, once it gets a little bit hot, I'm gonna spray some of my Pam nonstick spray. While this is getting all warmed up for me, I'm gonna go ahead and put some of the Pam in. This is a non-stick spray. So I'm gonna open this up. And I'm gonna spray this in the bottom and a little bit on the side. So that'll keep the flour that's in here from actually sticking. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna put this back in. It's gonna turn itself back on and start heating up a little bit more. 
So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do a light dusting of the chicken wings in the flour and gently place them in the actual basket here. So these are some pretty big wings. So I'm gonna put all of these in and shake them up really good. Okay, and move this bowl out of the way. I'm gonna grab this all together and I'm gonna get this a little toss to get it lightly dusted with flour. Some of you like to use maybe a brown paper bag. A bag is a bag to me. So that is what I am actually using is a actual plastic bag. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna gently place the chicken in the actual basket. So I'm gonna put one here, two here, put another one in here, put another one in here. So this should be about eight pieces of chicken. Put this over in here. But if you have a bigger family or you're cooking for quite a few people, you can actually have enough room to do all of that. Okay guys, now you see that the chicken was gently placed in the basket. So now we're gonna put this back in and it's gonna automatically turn itself on. So we're gonna let this cook for at least about 25 to 30 minutes. The longer you let it cook, the crispier these chicken wings will be. Now I like using chicken wings because it is the least fattiest piece of the chicken. So I'm telling you, this is going to be delicious. So we will come back in about 25 to 30 minutes. Here we go. Okay, everybody, it's been about uh, 25 minutes. I, like I said, I like mine extra crispy, so the longer you leave it in, the crispier it'll get. So let's go ahead and go into this. It should be less than a minute now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna open it. Okay. And now that we have it open, it's getting actually cooler, so we're letting that steam out. Okay guys, now you can see it's golden brown. As you can see, this is golden brown. So now we are ready to take it out. So we'll place them on our plate. Looks pretty good. You can apply your own seasoning on it. These are the actual tongs that come with it. I'm telling you guys, you can eat as much fried chicken as you want, guilt free, if you do it in the actual air fryer. And it doesn't have all of that fat from the actual oils that you put in. So we got everything out. Now we actually have the actual chicken here. You can see it looks really good. It's golden brown. And I'm telling you, this chicken looks just like as if you cooked it in oils or any type of grease. But I'm telling you, the air fryer eliminates all of that. For those of you out there who like to eat fried foods, this is your alternative. You wanna make sure that you don't have high cholesterol and things like that. If you know that you're having a problem eating fried foods, and what I mean by that is, it's hard for you to give that up when you're dieting or you're trying to eat right. This is your option. I love this thing. This thing is amazing. This air fryer is completely awesome. I'm telling you. 
Okay guys, now we're gonna do a taste test. I'm gonna take one of these pieces of chicken and I'm gonna do a taste test on it. Really the taste test is to see, is it comparable to fried chicken? Does it taste better? Does it not taste good or whatever? Now, I'm gonna tell you, when I'm eating my fried chicken, I like my Louisiana hot sauce. Most of you like trappies, some of you like other various types of uh, actual hot sauces, or you like to use peppers, jalapenos with it, but I'm telling you, this is my favorite. So I'm gonna put a little bit on here because that's just my thing and I love that. I gotta have me some hot sauce, but let's try this. Oh, it's hot. Oh my God. Man, this is so good. This is good. I'm telling you, this is guilt-free fried chicken. This is amazing. Mm. Man. Guys, you need to go buy one of these. This air fryer is amazing. You need to buy one, I'm telling you. Go ahead and like my video and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of cooking sessions that will take place. We're gonna be cooking all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna be bringing people in to taste test and be my guests to come in and actually enjoy the food that I'm cooking because I promise you, I'm not gonna sit up here and eat all of this food, but I'm gonna be bringing people in that's not camera shy you know, uh, to come in and actually taste the food as well. So again, this is your boy Carlos with Carlos Power Media Channel and see ya.